The next step is to show you how to upload and part out an entire set. So again, we're going to do the Parisian restaurant. We're going to get rid of this and we're going to add, remember that plus symbol. And this time, instead of the item type being part, we're going to choose set. And you're missing gear, catalog, and book out of the screen there. Instruction, minifig, original box, part set, and unsorted lot. We're going to do set. Type in the set number, 10243. And you can click all items. It'll take a little bit to find that. But there it is. We choose Parisian restaurant. Now, in this instance, it doesn't matter how many you put for quantity because we're going to part it out. So we click add. And again, there we click close. Now it's up. Highlight the Parisian restaurant. You'll see the picture when something's highlighted. And this blue brick right here is part out item. Click on that. And it's already got Parisian restaurant picked out for you. In your quantity, this is where you're going to change that. So right now we're going to do one, but you can change that to whatever you need it to be and click OK. Here we go. It has every piece in the set. Now, there's a few things that we got to do that are similar to BrickLink, but take uh, just about the same amount of time. We're going to make sure that we have the right pieces. Now, one thing when you do upload the set is it does not upload the instructions. It's only the parts. So you need to add the instructions. And again, you're going to go to this blue, I'm sorry, not blue, the green plus symbol. Click there. And instead of set now, you want to put it on instruction. I'm sorry, that's almost out of the screen, but that's what you want. Actually, you know what? I'll pull that down a little bit. There, now you can see it. It's instruction, a set number, and click all items. Again, if you were to search by uh, modular buildings, it would go a little more quickly. And you need to make sure you switch the quantity right now. It's only one, so that is correct. Click Add, then click Close, and your instructions are listed right there. Now we have all of the pieces parted out. We have to actually get rid of a few. So we're going to click at the top of this column right here, which is Status. And it's going to have the green check marks at the top. So we're going to go to the bottom. Zoom to the bottom. It's going to have these ones and these twos. Now, if you watched my BrickLink inventory, these are the alternate pieces that you see at the very bottom of the set, uh, at the set list. So it has this piece, which is 2436B, and it has this piece, piece, which is just 2436. This one has sharp corners. This one has rounded corners. You need to look at every single piece that comes with your set, not just one, because they could be mixed. And let's say you have the rounded corners. You don't have these. So you're going to right click and delete. Same thing for the number two. It's giving you these two options. Let's say for this one, again, you don't have the sharp edges. So you right click and delete. And again, it shows your hotkey there. You can just hit delete on the keyboard. All right, so we got rid of those. There are also counterparts. And if you have any questions about counterparts, let me know. But that would be something like a turntable that can be it can come apart into two pieces and it'll say CP instead of a one or a two or a plus or a check. It'll say CP. Uh, it'll be like turntables that can go together, tires and wheels that can go together, or anytime you have stickers, you can put a sticker on a piece. It'll show up as a counterpart. If you plan to put the sticker on the piece, then keep that and get rid of the extra two pieces. But if you don't plan to, then you need to delete all of the counterparts. So what is the difference between the plus symbol and the check mark? Well, I'll tell you the plus symbol means it may have extra pieces, or in this case, it's telling you there should be extra pieces. One of this, two of that, four of that. So we need to combine everything. So we are going to, uh, first, you want to, when you're physically going through this set, you want to make sure that you did get all of these extra pieces. And if you did, now you're going to combine everything. And you can do that by, again, selecting all, Commander, Control, A. And you're going to do this yellow brick up here, Consolidate Items. We're going to do New Lot. We're going to do the same for the remaining lots. Because if you don't, it's going to ask you one by one each and every time, do you want to consolidate? Do you want to consolidate? Well, we'll we're just going to do it for all of them. And then we're done. Boom. So there you go. Everything has been consolidated, and now you can see instead of just one, it has six. 
So it gives you that second chance if you forgot to, you can make sure that you have six of this item, make sure that you have 14 of this item, and so forth. Okay, we got the red boxes because the prices are not updated. So again, select everything with Command A or Control A. We're gonna go to the equal sign up here to set to the price guide. Last six months sales, we're gonna do average. And again, we wanna download, even if already in cash, that's giving us the most up-to-date pricing. Now it's gonna take a little while. And what you're gonna see at the bottom of the screen are the errors going down. We're at 335, we're at 330. It's like listening to an announcer talk about how a football player is, he's at the 20, he's at the 15, the 10, the five, touchdown. Well, we haven't scored yet. It's, it's gonna take a while because it's a big set with a lot of lots. The other cool thing is you're gonna watch your value go up and up and up. And I think I'm gonna skip this part and take you to where we're done. There it goes, the errors are disappearing. All the way down to zero and everything's okay. So we click okay. Our set is ready to upload and add to the BrickLink store. So what we do is select everything and we're going to export EU, EU. It's gonna automatically pull up the browser for us. We're going to paste, and remember that's command or control V as in Victor. We're going to consolidate. We wanna use our new prices. And you can concatenate the remarks again. The first verify button. And let's see what we got. Okay, if you have a fairly good sized store, you should be seeing things consolidate. If you don't, then you need to make sure you go back and click that consolidate button. The first time I used Brick Store, I forgot to, and that caused a hiccup because I had to go back and you know combine lots. We scroll through here, we see everything is consolidated. We go to the bottom, it's again gonna show us the items, the lots, and the dollar total. This is very similar to the BrickLink upload and you click upload file and it's going to be in your store ready for sale. So there you have it. I've showed you how to upload a single part and I've showed you how to part out and upload an entire set. Again, if you wanted to change the prices of this whole set, it's that same plus minus and you can decrease or increase by a percent or by a dollar amount. Let's say you wanna increase everything by a penny. Oh, there that happens again. We gotta click okay. Uh, we want to increase everything by a penny, and we also want to apply to tiered prices. You're going to watch your dollar, dollar total at the bottom down here increase. That doesn't take as long. Another thing is you can go through each and every piece, and again, in the bottom left, it appears in these sets. For instance, the scooter. This is the only set right now that you can find it in. The 2x2 two two round brick, which they used for flower pots. This is the only set right now you can find it in. So a very cool thing, here's another one where it's only in two. If you want to, you can also save uploads that you've done so that like for instance in a week, if you plan to get another Parisian restaurant, you can upload it again. Now my P, uh, PC works to save and to upload files. The Mac for whatever reason is crashing right now, so I'm not gonna be able to show you that. And one last note, if you are uploading a big used lot of stuff, again, if you get a bunch of modified bricks it has everything in a list right here, and it will even show the pictures, so it, it's um, maybe not as easy to go through as BrickLink when you can look at all the pictures at once, but I believe it is quicker to do it this way, especially if you know part numbers or if you're reading the part number off the piece, or if you can search it by size, you know it's a one by two. So simple to find them here. You click use, you click how many you've got of them, you add it. Oh, I've also got this with a pen. I've got two of those. I add it. And then once you've got everything added, you go in and you set everything all at once to the, the price guide. And it's got them all priced out. And then, oh, well, I want to drop them by a little bit of price by uh, 5%. Boom, that happens so quick. And then you saw how quickly it uploads. So for me, it's been a breeze. It's been a lot faster to upload. That is one of the huge reasons why I like Brickstore. Another thing you can actually do is you can download 
or um, yeah, export your BrickLink inventory into BrickStore. So everything that I have in BrickLink right now, I can download that to BrickStore and manage my prices. And then rather than uploading it back to BrickLink, I can do an update. So update rather than upload to modify those prices. It also works well to be like a backup. It's like a backup of what you have on BrickLink. So some very cool things. Obviously, if you're making sales and uploading stuff, that's gonna be changing weekly, daily, however often you are making sales. All right, so I may have missed something. If I did, please ask a question and let me know. I would definitely love to make more videos and try and help you out or just answer a question through uh, messaging. Either way, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all of my subscribers. And I hope that this video helped you out a whole bunch. Enjoy your BrickLink selling, and I'll catch up with you next time. See ya!